you how to make fruit cocktail cookies. Up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. Jolene Sugar Baker, yeah, Jolene Sugar Baker. She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, you gotta meet this girl. She's got gossip and food and lots of news. Dropping in on neighbors is what she do. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park. Passion at the park, passion at the park. She's Jolene Sugar Baker, yeah, Jolene Sugar Baker. Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, you know, sometimes you just don't have things to make for dessert, and you reach for that can of fruit cocktail that's in the back of your cabinet, and you all grew up with it, and you know, you had it for lunch, and had it for dinner with some whipped cream on it, and that was called dessert sometimes. But did you know that you can make a great cookie out of fruit cocktail? Yes, that's right. We're going to turn a can of fruit cocktail into a great cookie that just, I think they sparkle. I think they do. It's a fruit cocktail cookie up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my fruit cocktail cookies is sure simple, and all you need is a stand mixer or a mixer or even a spoon to mix up the batter. And they sure do look pretty, and they use that can of fruit cocktail you've got hiding in the back of your cabinet. I've got one and a half cups of brown sugar here, and I've got that in my mixer here, so let's go ahead and put the bowl on. And I've got one and a half sticks of butter. That goes right on into the bowl, just like that. We're going to cream this together till that's nice and fluffy, so let's get that going and not fling that out of the bowl. Now that that fruit flies in the way, go away. Now that we beat that together, we're going to add one egg at a time and beat those until those are nice and fluffy. So. Let's go ahead and mix that a little bit, and then add the other egg. Now to that mixture, add 1 8 teaspoon of regular salt to it. So dump that in. Then I've got a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and I'm just going to dump that on in there. And then I have 1 teaspoon of baking soda. That goes right on in there, just like that. And then you need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I don't measure that. Let's go ahead and let's make sure it's open first. There we go. There we go. I like vanilla extract. And we've got two cups. Actually, um, this is three cups together. And we've got to pour this into the batter here that we're starting slowly at a time. So let's get that moving. There we go. Now we have our batter, and it's a nice tan color, and I smell the cinnamon. We need to make the topping, which is the fruit cocktail, and it sure is pretty. It looks like pretty jewels up on top. I've got a can of regular fruit cocktail that I've drained, and it has the cherries already in it, but what we're going to do is actually add a half cup of chopped up maraschino cherries right on in there, too, and we've quartered those. And I've got a half cup of dark seedless raisins, just like that. And we're just going to give this a stir around. And this is our topping mixture that we're going to put on top of the cookies. So we're going to need a pan, and I'm going to go get that together and check back with you in just a moment. There we go. I've got a baking pan, and now I've got our batter, and I use a cookie scooper because it's one teaspoon, and that's what you need. You could use a teaspoon and just make sure that you drop it out, 
but you're just gonna drop them teaspoon style about two inches apart down on the pan and there we go and just get a whole pan there and I'm gonna come back in just a moment to show you what else you're gonna do there we go we dropped our cookies on the pan now we're gonna take a glass and we're just gonna smash them a little bit to push them down there we go just smashing them with the glass and it's kind of fun I like doing it because now we're going to add the topping of the fruit cocktail right up on top. And they could stick, and that's okay. You could just let go of it just a little bit. There we go. We've got them pressed out just like that. Now, look at that. There's our fruit cocktail mix, and it's so pretty and fall-like like the leaves. And we're just going to arrange some right up on top of the cookie, just like this. Right there. I'll show you in just a moment. But what we're doing is just topping it with some of the cocktail mixture. And that's going to bake down in the cookie and look so pretty. I'll check back with you in just a moment to show you what it looks like. There we go. We topped each cookie with a fruit fly. There we go. We topped the cookies with a fruit cocktail and raisin mixture. Just a little bit up on top to add some of the color up on top of there and some of the flavor of the fruit. We've preheated our oven to 350 degrees, and they're gonna bake about 10 to 12 minutes, and you're gonna check them just like any other cookie. So let's go ahead and pop them in now. And there you have it, my fruit cocktail cookies. And look at those colors up on top. The cherries and the mixed fruit and the dark raisins. It sure does remind me of the fall colors. It, it's just a great pretty cookie. And it's kind of like a fruitcake cookie if you ask me. But I can't wait to try this one. Mmm. Taste the cinnamon and the mixed fruit. And just the right amount of spice with these. And a nice kick with the fruit on top. And it sure will fancy up your fruit cocktail. Mmm. Those are good. I hope you get a chance to make my fruit cocktail cookies. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And of course, subscribe because there's um, more cooking shows right around the corner. And I don't know where the button is now. Go ahead and click it. Add me on Google Plus. There's more things right around the corner that you can find out daily there. I post things there all the time. And there's more cooking shows right around the corner. So I'll see you back real soon. I love you. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.